Next thing we're going to do is add our logo to this. Now if you look at our example, the logo covers, over, fills up the first column and the first row and then cover, projects down into the second row. So what we're going to do with this image then is we're going to make it a background image of the header area rather than putting it inside of either of these columns. And then in order to make it clickable, what we'll do is we will put a transparent image in a text widget in column one that we can click on. So let's go ahead and start that. Come back over here to uh, header layout. And we're looking at our header background color and image because we're going to put this background image in the overall header. Let's go ahead and select customize the background styles. Once we do that we get a bunch of choices. Now we want to make the background transparent so that we can see the navigation bar through it. So we make the background transparent but then we need to go get that logo. So if we come over here to the library Okay, so now we select the image, copy the URL, go to the header background color and image section, and we set it to be, we're going to set it to be transparent. We're going to place that image in there. We don't want to repeat it in either direction but we do want it up in the top left hand corner. And now if we hit save, come back over and refresh. There we go. So there's our image and it comes down into the bar like we want it to. Mm -hmm. We may as well go ahead and put the widget in here. So let's Go to Appearance and Widgets. And header row one, widget column one. We're going to drag a text widget in there. And we're going to come over here to Pages and add new page. I'm going to call this page a sandbox page. We're going to make it private and we will insert an image there from the media library. And the image is this one here called transparent logo. You can see it's 350 pixels wide by 180 pixels tall, and it is perfectly transparent. It has no color in it whatsoever, which means we'll be able to see it when or you'll be able to see what's behind it. And then what we okay. do is we make the link URL here. We make the link URL the home page, and then the title that we give it is Return to the beautifully coastal homepage. And what this title will become is the tool tip for when the mouse hovers over the, this button here. Okay. And I may as well give it, what was your tagline? Oh gosh, I couldn't tell you the whole thing. It's, it's, it's about um, ocean decorating, <laughs> seaside shore decorating. I don't really know what it is, to be honest with you. Make anything up. <laughs> so we're decorating. We can. I'll change it later. <laughs> decorating blog. Okay. So the point of this is that this is the alt text. So this is going to. This has some SEO benefit. So we want to put the alt text in. The title is going to be the tool tip. We're going to link it when they click on it. It'll link back to the home page, and we're going to put the full size in, and we're going to insert it into the post. And okay. then all we really do is we just copy this HTML and we paste it in that text widget. Hit save. 
Come back over here and hit refresh. And now that transparent image sits here. And you can see mm -hmm. when you hover over it, the return the to the Beautifully Coastal homepage shows up. And if you click on it, it takes you there. If we were to scroll down for a moment to another blog post and go off to this single blog post, if we click on this, it'll take us back to our homepage. So this is a strategy that I use actually fairly regularly in the tutorials I give, having a essentially creating a hot linkable spot by using a text widget and a transparent ping to cover up something else. Oh, yeah. So anyway, that's what's going on there. So the next thing to do then will be to, let's see, let's just drop our widget in here and then we'll move the menu over and then we'll move the search over. And then once we're done with that, we'll start refining it. We'll add the menu to this and we'll just keep refining it. Okay. So the, let's see. So the next text widget, the next widget, actually, we already have a text, I think, for this. Yes, here's our, this is a sort of a placeholder ad. It's not really an ad, but it, it's a placeholder ad. And if we drop it in there and we refresh it, now that ad's going to show up. Hit refresh. Okay, so now our ad is in there. 